What's up, everybody? It's your boy L Slack, and this is the Vulgar Uplander. Still sick as a dog, man. Still fucking struggling, big time. Driving to work because I'm a big boy, but I'm gonna tough it out. I got too much shit to do at work, and I, I just can't miss another day. So, off to work I go on my hour and. 40 minute drive so anyway I'm gonna I'm just gonna tough it out and normally my phone does a little countdown thing when it says hey you're gonna go live here in a second but it didn't do it so I was mumbling to myself about like what the what the fuck is going on but I still got that foggy brain so maybe it did and I didn't see it I don't know anyway so that's not why I got on here. I didn't get on here to tell you I was sick. I already said that yesterday. Uh, what I did get on, I, so last night, somebody propositioned me with an offer for one of my totems. Now, I haven't been like really high on the totems. We've talked about this before. You know, I try to be a good totem daddy, but sometimes you just gotta let them go sometimes you know when you are not uh, the best fit for your you know your your little baby sometimes just giving it to a new owner is what's best is what's best for your baby you know and then if I really want to be a good totem daddy a good tote daddy sometimes you just gotta let it go so I let them go. I let both of them go. They offered, they offered me some property for one of them, and the property that they offered was part of a. Uh, well, I think it's the legendary collection. It's actually a double collection property in Detroit. So I hemmed and hawed over it because I was like, well, Detroit's kind of a weird market. I don't know how well things sell in Detroit, especially like small-ish properties um, that are a double collection. So I took a gamble. So I got this, uh, I'll show you here in a minute. I So I traded both my totems for three properties. Um, for three properties, yeah. So. Let's, uh, let's see, let's, I'll go look at him here in a second. <clears throat> and I don't know if I got bent over the barrel or what, but I was looking at the prices and I was looking at, you know, what I would price them at, what they could potentially sell at. And to me, potentially, it looks like a killer deal for me. Um, now it could take me for fucking ever to sell these sons of bitches, Maybe I traded for some. I don't know. But what I do know is I wasn't loving my totems. I wasn't being a good tote daddy because um, I kept forgetting to feed them. And they're kind of a pain in my ass. I got protum, so whenever life comes out, that shit's gonna turn to stem. I'm not gonna be, you know, fucked. I'll have something. Okay, I guess I could probably go buy some more if I wanted. Well, not now, but. Um, I mean, if I want another totem, I suppose I could buy one if I, if I really am feeling it. But, you know, I did the one, I did the one cycle. Eh, I felt eh about it, you know. So I felt like it was time to move on. So let's look at, uh, I'm already in Detroit right now anyway. Let's see, hey, get that thing to go, what the fuck? Let's see if I can find it. It's in uh, Midtown, Midtown Detroit. God, where the fuck is Midtown at? I don't know. I just got it last night. Let's just do this. So I don't have to be super irresponsible while I'm driving. Mid. Town. Let's move this up a little bit. Manhattan, not Manhattan. 
damn it, I just want fucking Detroit. Midtown Detroit. Midtown, and we got this Grand River Avenue, and all three of those have both of those. Now, when I was looking on uh, UPX land, um, there were like two other properties for sale that were in Midtown and Grand River Avenue, and they were both very expensive, very expensive. Now, there was a couple uh, Grand River Avenue properties that just by themselves that were like 26,000 Upix, I think was the cheapest. There was, um, yeah, I think that was the cheapest. Man, this is really coming down all of a sudden. But also in Midtown, but those were ones that were not in Midtown. Midtown, the cheapest property in Midtown is like 50,000, right? 50,000 Upix. So if I went maybe even under the floor, because I got some baby properties here, um, you know, but potentially I could sell them for, let's just say I went 40,000, 40, 80, <clears throat> was that 120, 120,000 Upix, which would be about, equivalent to what I what I paid for for my toes. I think that's on the low end, I think. Now I could if if I get lucky if if I look if I'm looking at what the value is for the Grand River Avenue plus Midtown Trifecta collection even though they're baby properties. One of them has a building on it. So maybe I'll throw a little tycoon action on it. Just to, just to up the ante just a smidge. Um, the, the cheapest one of those, again, there was only two of them. <clears throat> for Midtown, you only need two properties. And for the Grand River Avenue to complete that collection, you need three. 
So I got three. That was kind of the deal. Um, so I can do both those collections. But for um, for the two that were on there, woo, that was a bumpy spot. It was like <clears throat> almost 200,000 Upix a piece. Now, I don't know how unrealistic that is. I don't know. I don't know how long those have been on there. So, in my mind, I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's not a realistic number to actually hit. But that is the current market. That's there's only two selling for Upix. Um, there, yeah, there's not a, there's not a lot of properties out there. So, anyway, I thought, yeah, there's there's some risk. There could be some reward. I don't love the totes. And worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I got three more Detroit properties. I got um, a new collection. So, you know, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world for me. Uh, and if it takes me a while to sell, then it takes me a while to sell. And if I really want to get frisky with it, maybe I decide to give them away for something cool. I don't know. The, the possibilities are endless. Um, now, I don't like throwing away properties I essentially spent somewhere around $100 for with the totems. Because those things were like, what, 55 USD a piece? So we're looking at 110 Do I get $110 worth of property? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. This will be... This will be a fun little experiment. I've only made maybe two other trades before last night. And like I said, the the potential is there. We'll just see where the market's at. It's not a big deal to me because at the end of the day, check this out. At the end of the day, totems, I spent $110 on these totems, right? And when they run their cycles out, they just become map assets. And what is a map, map asset worth when it's a dead, what's a dead totem worth? Or a used totem? I don't know, but probably not $110. I can tell you that right now. Now, what's the totem worth? I don't know, because they're not selling it. Um, what's life worth? I don't know. We have no fucking idea. What I do know is that properties can have value especially if they're in a collection you stupid thing there you go especially if they're in a collection or a double collection then I may be able to get a return on my investment it's a gamble folks this is not financial advice it's a gamble we'll see what happens right I don't care either way I'm fine with the outcome I like to gamble. I think it's fun. I'll get very excited if I sell it for a pretty penny. I'll be less excited if I don't. But if I don't, it's not the end of my world. Not the end of my world because when the totems run their cycle and their final value is, you know, like a fraction of what I bought it for, maybe life has value. But I got protom. I did get protom out of it. I'll be sitting on 2,000, 2,000 something change in protom, which I can use for life so it's not like I didn't get something out of the damn totems I got a little bit of something so anyway that's what I did last night I got rid of my totes uh, if I can turn around and sell these things you know in a couple weeks I'm gonna I'm gonna milk them for everything I can get out of them just in case so I, I'm gonna milk it for the collection which is like 30 which is really not much but you know, when you're taking a gamble, you want to get as much as you can out of it. Um, I think the... Oh, my God. What kind of collection is that? Let me just look at it. I'm having the biggest brain fart right now. It's this sick, foggy brain, man. I'm telling you. It's a real pain in my ass. Midtown. Midtown's 3,200. That's probably going to take 
I hate how they have these fucking countdowns where you have to wait X amount of time to receive your... I get it. I get it. So people can't just, like, immediately swap and trade. You know? Like, I get it. I just think it's annoying. I think once you... If you get... I don't know. Maybe if you hit a certain status or something, you, you shouldn't have to worry about it. But maybe maybe I'm just being naive. I don't know. But anyway, Midtown 3200. I'm going to get that out of it. And then... Grand River is 4700, which I'm sitting on right now. But I got to wait fucking 14 days. Two weeks before I can collect on those. What is the... Oh, it's an exclusive collection. Exclusive collection. Alright, so yeah. Worst case scenario, I have an exclusive collection. Which is fine with me. In Midtown. So I'll do this one, and then I'll go over to... I'll put it in the Midtown one. I'll collect that one, and then I'll put it back into this one. Just for the boost, which is fucking small. It's not really worth it, but... Um, I'll get, what, 7,000, maybe close to 8,000 Upix. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then I'll sell them. And we'll see what we can get out of them. So. Something's better than nothing. So, anyway, that's my experiment. And I'm sticking to it. So, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> With great risk comes great reward. Or so you're told. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with my little my little baby properties. This one is the biggest one at 20, I think it's 21. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at that. Look at the returns on this bad boy. Ooh, 151. Fuck yeah. God, I'm bringing down the whole fucking upland network with this thing. I'm taking down the whole metaverse with all 151.84 Upix per month that this guy yields me being in that exclusive collection. Anyway, we'll see. That's all I got for today. I just wanted to jump on and talk about my my little experiment and see if it kicks me in the ass or not. Kicks me in the shin, fucks me in the ass. I don't know. Uh, pushes me in the mud pit. Uh steps on my toe. I don't know. Any number of analogies will work for something undesirable for you. Um, anyway. What is happening here? Oh, it's just a semi-truck going real slow. Taking a turn. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get off of here and do, uh, do the responsible thing and drive without being on my phone. Um, oh, real quick, a couple shout outs to uh, Ben68. Thank you for pumping my shit. That sounded fucked up. Uh, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for uh, putting the word out about what I got going on. I appreciate that very much. Um, James UK, thank you for your support as well. Uh, you two have been very helpful in spreading my vulgarity across the interwebs, across the uplands. Um, I appreciate you very much, and I just want to say thank you. And uh, I look forward to, you know, chatting again with both of you whenever whenever that day may be so anyway um yeah thanks a bundle i'll check you guys later and for now peace